Okay, what's going on everybody? You're listening and watching another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzy the Gifted. So this is the first time ever that I'm doing a podcast live on Facebook. This is lit lit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video, save it to the camera roll, take the video, throw it up on YouTube, and then I'm going to take the audio and put it as the podcast. So the first time I've ever done this. It's kind of weird, I'm going to be honest with you, but whatever, we're rocking it, we're doing it. So what I want to get on here and talk to you guys about today was, um, I've talked about this before, but it's something I want to discuss again. So uh, it's all about like, ev- like evolving as an artist and as a creative. And so one thing that I've recently been doing is not writing my lyrics down. So like I'm making music in the studio and all I do is I'll think of like the lines and then just boom, record them. It's not really freestyling because freestyling is like, I guess it kind of is, but freestyling is like going all the way straight through. Me, I'm just like, I'll think of a couple lines, record, couple lines, record. It's called punching in. And um, it's crazy because it's like brand new for me and it's something that like I've wanted to do. I've heard that other artists do it. And the reason I started doing it was because I've actually thought about doing it for years and I never did it. But then like, I don't know, recently I just was like, man, like writing the lyrics down or using my phone, like usually I use my phone, it takes so long to do that. And so this time I just decided I'm just going to stop doing that. Like I already, I think of the lines, why write them down? Why not just record them? Like what's the point of like writing them down? Just record. I have the setup, I engineer all my own stuff. And you know what's crazy? I think I've been thinking of better lyrics, like way catchier, way smarter, way more clever. My energy when I record is way better because it's more organic and my flow is way better, way more organic, way more natural, way more smooth. Um, I think I've made so far three songs that way and like the hooks are way catchier, they're more natural. Just the songs overall in my presence is so much better and I'm like, wow, this is so weird and it's a new tactic. Now, if you're not a songwriter or if you're not an artist, if, if you're like a producer or you're a mixing engineer or whatever – what I want to impart to you is just try something new. Like always try something new. Always try to evolve. Always try to be diff- – try to do something different. The reason that I like music is because I don't per- – I mean it is competitive. You know what I mean? It is competitive but it's also kind of not in a way. It's more competitive with yourself. It's competitive with you and your brain. And so what's more important than you trying to race against some other artist or producer is just to race against yourself. Try new things. Try to be a better artist or whatever you do. Like try to just take some new tactic and do it. You know what I mean? Um, And I think that that's important to remember because if you just keep doing the same exact thing, your process is going to get really stale, like really stale and you're going to get bored. It's so much cooler if you can actually take what you do and say, I'm going to try one new thing or one new tactic. Like as producers, like I make beats as well and like, there's so many VSTs and softwares and plugins and services and all these different things that you can try out. There's different tactics. If you're into mixing, there's so many different plugins. There's different mixing techniques. Um, and also just in general, like me, like I'm trying this out right now. I'm on Facebook Live right now. This is the first – and I've heard about doing this before where you you take a – face, you do something on Facebook Live, save the video, put it on YouTube, take the audio, use it as your podcast and make three pieces of content. This is something new that I'm trying that I've never done before and I'm – I mean I've heard of it. I've thought about it but I don't know. I just literally decided like I'm just going to do it. The honest truth, usually I record them on my computer on like my professional mic but there's construction going on in our uh, street and it's super loud and I was like, dude, I can't record a pod in there. I was like, I'm, I'm going to try that Facebook Live thing. So that's what it's all about. It's all about changing things up. It's all about – keeping things fresh. And it's the same thing with your life too. Like it's good to get into a routine. It's good to have structure to your life, but it's good to throw things in there that are exciting. That's most of the time why people go on vacation because they want to get away and change it up. You could take little mini vacations, you know, every week you could go do a little fun something, right? You could, you could, you could do it every weekend. You could take a day or two off and go do something cool. Like the point is, Always be changing up your life, your 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 lifestyle. I'm doing the same thing with fitness too. I try different um, workouts. I try different foods. I try different um, 
routines, like always trying something new, right? Get into a routine of something, do it for a while and be like, okay, now if it works, like don't stop. Like for me, my podcast works. I do it every day. I'm not going to stop doing it, but I'm changing it up, right? I'm, I'm now starting to do Facebook lives. Um, you know, uh, just always try to change it up. Always try to do something new. Um, try working with different people, right? That's always something great. When you, when you switch it up and work with a new artist or a different person, that's really dope because you can really get variety in your music. Same thing, just collaborating in general is something that I think we should all be trying to do. And something I need to do more of is I need to do way more like interviews on my podcast, which I don't do, but it's because I do a daily podcast. And so it's like, I don't know, it gets hard to like try to coordinate meeting up with people or, or right now we're in quarantine or whatever. So like doing Zoom calls and stuff. So I just do it myself every day because I have stuff to talk about. But yeah, I definitely do want to um, start getting more guests. But yeah, like basically the point of this episode is always evolve, always try something new. Um, try something new today, right? Try, try a new tactic with your music today. Try playing something different on the piano today or whatever. Try writing lyrics differently. Try different types of beats. Um... Try a different workout routine. Try running a different route. Like always adding that variety makes life exciting. All right. So that's all I've got for you today. Um, if you're watching on Facebook Live, I appreciate um, the fact that you're watching it. Go subscribe to the podcast, the Music Mastery Podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click below and subscribe to the pod. And obviously, if you're listening to the podcast, leave a rating, leave a review, subscribe, share this with a friend. I'm definitely going to start doing these Facebook Lives way more. And I'm definitely going to start uploading more on this platform. So everybody who signed in, I appreciate it a lot. And everybody who's been tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Peace.